Hello, today I'm going to discuss about this example from my slide that is also in the book of Cedric Smith, Electronics 1. So it's a classical, uh, actually a classical example for voltage amplification. So remember guys, we're doing voltage amplification. That's what we will be doing in our Electronics 1 course. Okay, so uh, which actually means that we need to find if you talk about uh, amplification so there would be something called gain let's make things clear as this is a voltage amplification the gain would be in the form of output voltage divided by input voltage okay so that is what we want actually if you uh, actually analyze this thing very uh, is uh, analyze this thing you will get the idea why we need something like this because see that when we talk about gain we usually uh, we usually think something like this that is let me show you say for example you need an output uh, output that is five times of input okay so you want output that is uh, that is actually that is actually that is actually five times right five times of input so input voltage so this five right here is should be your gain right so now let's if you just uh, manipulate the equation what you get is v out by v in right so that is what we need and as this is the voltage amplification we need v out by v in always remember this okay I think that's uh, pretty much the idea about uh, ampli uh, voltage amplification and what we will be needing uh, to understand in today's lecture okay fine let's talk about the question then uh, a discrete MOSFET amplifier using a drain to get resistance RG which is uh, this one drain to get resistance rg for biasing purposes so what it, it is saying is that this is actually meant for biasing okay such a biasing arrangement will be started in something in future section you can easily guess uh, it has it has been written in here uh, the input signal vi is coupled to the gate via a large capacitor okay which is something like this a large capacitor okay and the output signal that is v out right and your input was this okay your input was this uh, and the output signal at the drain is coupled to the load resistance so output signal at the drain is coupled to load resistance rl okay via another large capacitor via another large capacitor okay we wish to analyze this amplifier circuit to de determine is uh, small signal voltage gain voltage gain that is the main thing its input resistance and okay so we get the idea so we need to find the gain and input resistance and whatever it is okay so there are some parameters that has been given the transistor has vt threshold voltage of 1.5 volt can prime w by l is equal to 0.25 milliampere per volt square va okay is equal to 50 volt okay assuming the coupling capacitors to be sufficiently large so as to act as short circuits at the signal frequencies of interest okay fine so the, what is it is meaning is uh, so when you will be talking about amplification you will be trying to amplify an AC signal so the capacitors will be actually act as short in the AC frequencies that is what it has said here so that's a big thing big Q here right here okay so let's start this analysis then okay so first of all let me tell you something about uh, solving this math is remember always remember when you're solving an amplification math first thing you should know you should try to figure it out uh, is your GM transconductance parameter that I have actually explained in my previous lecture and your output resistance R0 that is saturation uh, saturation reason resistance or the output resistance okay so if you recall from your previous lecture that is gm is actually something like this kn 
times v o v right k n times v o v so if you see that your k n is actually given k n prime w by l is equal to k n right so it is given but your v o v right here is actually v g s minus v t right this is v o v so see that this quantity right here actually is an is a is a dc quantity right so what i'm trying to say to you guys is so is that if we need to find gm then we need to actually first make the dc analysis okay and for r0 if i talk about r0 right here so r0 is actually va divided by id okay so VA which is luckily is given that is uh, around uh, 50 volts right and ID again see that this ID big I big D means it is also a DC component okay so it's definite that we need to do the DC analysis so okay so in short when you are dealing with amplification analysis problems the first thing first thing you should look at is are you been given with gm and r0 if you are not then you need to actually make the dc analysis dc analysis first of all dc analysis will give you those results okay dc analysis after doing the DC analysis, you need to draw the AC equivalent circuits. Then you can, then you can make the AC analysis. Okay, AC analysis. Okay, so remember in DC analysis. AC components we are not we won't be thinking about AC components okay we'll be forgetting AC components because why let me tell you see that DC has the frequency of a physicals to precisely what zero for DC right a physicals to zero so if you put a physicals to zero for capacitor it actually and the impedance actually turns out to be zero right so that means in dc uh sorry the imp impedance turns out to be the frequency is zero your impedance turns out to be infinite right so in dc that means you have an open circuit where there is a capacitor right so capacitor actually make will make uh, uh open circuit cr condition okay so we'll see that this is for dc analysis and for ac analysis our DC components would be actually shorted DC like supply voltage VDD will be actually grounded ground okay VDD will be grounded so let's uh, do the analysis now let's start so my first target would be G finding GMR0 if if it is given directly then it's good if not then go to the DC analysis let's do this now Raise this thing okay so I guess I have actually covered all oh, there's some okay so this is done so now let's do this the DC analysis right okay let's let's try to see this okay uh, so see that uh, this is good that this is like can right can is given but there is no V of V, right? So again, V A is given. So still, I'm missing V O V and I D. So I must do the DC analysis then, right? So now let's do the DC analysis. It is uh, now at this point it has become mandatory to do the DC analysis. Again, I'm, I'm trying to tell you this. If uh, 
can and uh, VOV were given and ID were given then and then I need not to do the DC analysis to get those values okay so first thing is you need to uh, draw the DC equivalent circuit first of all see that in DC equivalent circuit uh, in DC your capacitor act as open circuit so this entire portion will be gone again this input capacitance will make this enter portion gone this the circuit is pretty simple actually just this uh, portion right here right this portion right here is your circuit basically right so let's draw this thing so so it's basically something like this something like this this was RG right and this was RD and there was some voltage here I don't know what it is so so it was most probably VDD and most probably this was grounded right so that's that so this is your VD this is your VG okay so now let's try to do the disanalysis before doing that uh, let me see so threshold voltage is 1.5 volt Kn is given okay these are the two new and VDD is 15 volt right VDD is 15 volt you can see that so it's actually 15 volt 15 volt so now as you can see uh, this is uh, this spatial biasing is actually known as drain to gate feedback resistance see this, this is the feedback resistance rg so now so we all know that uh, no current enters through mosfet's gate right so this is a big hint right here the current is zero here so that means vd is nothing but vg right vd and vg are same and what is this vd is to see that v, just the drop of rd vdd minus idrd right idrd and as vd and vg are shorted we know if the uh, voltage of drain and gate is equal they are shorted then uh, it will be in saturation reason right saturation reason so now I can write the saturation reason current equation right so saturation reason current equation so you know the saturation reason current equation you will find it out so it is half mu n c ox w by l vgs minus vt whole square so from that equation see that I can actually find the VO, uh, uh, find the value for uh, VOV by solving this equation and this equation obviously this two equation will give me the value of VOV and ID so VOV is actually 2.9 volts you do the solving by yourself and ID is actually 1.06 milli 1.06 oh sorry this uh, the ID is let me write it in a different sp space so that you can see uh, clearly so ID is 1.06 milliamps milliamps 1.06 milliamps so it's 1.06 so this is your uh, overdrive voltage, VOV and the drain current. So all that things we need for GM and R0, right? So now let's erase the whole thing right here. Erase the whole thing right here. Let's do this. Let's erase the whole thing because we won't be needing these things, right? Anymore. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so 
now again so now if you if i put the equation of gm that is k n v o v and if i do this and do the calculation it gives me this value point seven two five milliamperes per volt okay and if i go to r0 now that is va divided by id and i i know the value of va and i know the value of id that gives me 47 kilo ohms to be exact okay so that's good i have done the dc analysis so let me tell you why i'm going to need the gm and r0 because you'll see that in a moment a few moments later we'll be actually drawing the equivalent ac circuit where there is uh, gm and r0 uh, so so now let's go back to this so again let's erase this whole thing whole whole thing right so first step was done I found the GM and R0 through DC analysis. Now I'm going to draw the AC equivalent circuit first. So I'm going to draw this one right here so that you can easily understand what is happening. So let me tell you what you should do when you are drawing the AC equivalent circuit. First of all, you should make all the DC sources grounded. That means you see that you have a DC source of VDD 15 volts. So this would be nothing but ground there is no voltage there zero volt for ac because i am doing the ac equivalent circuit ac analysis circuit so there should be no dc quantities and it has been said that the at the last line assume the coupling capacitor to be sufficiently large so as to act as short circuits at the signal frequencies of interest so that means this will act as short so there will be no capacitor so there are very two very important things to remember and see that we have this mosfet n mosfet right here and we know the equivalent or a small signal model of the n mos so we'll be using that one actually so now let's try to actually do this one then so so let's start okay so let's let me first draw the hybrid pi model of this n mos first so see that i'm drawing it so this is my i'm calling it as gate i'm calling it as source and there is actually a current source So this is actually quite difficult to draw. Okay, that's good. So now this is my brain. So the value of the current source was, if you recall from the previous uh, lecture, that is GM into VGS. GM into VGS okay and there is a resistor parallel to it and this resistor is nothing but r0 so this is your drain node see that this node entirely is drained this is gate and this is so now i have just drawn this portion right here now let's try to try to draw the full circuit now now see the source right here the source right here is shorted with ground so let me short the source node with ground it, this gives me this now at this is the gate right this is the gate and you can easily see that the gate is actually as the capacitors are shorted the gate is directly shorted with an input AC signal VI so so let me do this so one terminal towards the positive and one ter uh, one another terminal of the ac input is towards connected to the ground ground is actually your source right so this results in something like this so there is an ac signal and it is something like this right so and the name of this is uh, it is vi right vi 
vi and it is connected to gate okay so that's done okay now i'm showing you the step by step procedure and you should also do this to uh, make your AC equivalent, AC equivalent circuits uh, perfect okay so this is your gate right this is your gate and see that this is your drain right here so there is a resistance between drain and gate right so drain and gate there is a resistance rg which is 10 mega ohms so see that this is my drain node and this is my gate node and there should be a resistance so let's draw this one okay this is rg that the value is given it's 10 mega ohm and so we have covered this one we have uh, draw the equivalent circuit of this one this one this one right here so all that has been left is this rd right here at this top and the load resistance so now let's start to find out so rd this is a drain node this is a ground node okay so this from drain to ground there is rd so where is drain and where is ground so this is your entire node is drain node right and where is your ground this node entire node is ground now because it the source this node is source right this node is its source now let's uh, draw draw this rd from drain to so this is your drain right if you recall this is your drain so draw i'm drawing this one so this is your drain node let me make things clear for you so this is your drain node drain to ground you have drawn rd that is good okay now see that this is your drain node and there is a capacitor which is actually acted as short so this node is drain now this is short there is nothing there so entire node is now your drain node right so from drain to ground again a resistance rl so you can easily understand there will be another resistance which actually names rl a parallel resistance let me erase all the things so it don't make a mess so no it is much more clear now so a pair so this is your drain node again this is your source node which is actually grounded so from drain to from drain to ground is your RL so from drain to ground should be your RL right so this is your RL and the value is 10k now you have found all the things i guess okay so we have actually successfully drawn the ac equivalent circuit okay ac equivalent circuit so this is actually required for the ac analysis basically so after you have successfully drawn this okay after uh, and remember this VG, vgs right what what, you, what is this value this is this value this value that means your input vgs is nothing but your vi okay so let's try to simplify this circuit see that your rl right here rd and r0 are actually in parallel so let's make things simple let's erase most of the things because we can make things simple make our life easier right so what i'm going to do is the drain and the source node i'm just introducing one simple resistance rl prime which is nothing but the parallel of r0 parallels rl parallels uh, rd right so you can easily actually find the value of this right you can find the value of this entire thing right here so i guess you got the idea that your rl prime is r0 parallel rd parallel rl okay the i have made the calculation so this rl prime is actually 4.52 Four point five two kilo ohms. It's actually four point five two kilo ohms. Okay, fine. So, so now that's done. 
so rl prime we have found the value of rl prime now okay now my target would be right now is to find a relation between my output that is if you uh, so if you have actually seen the value of rl prime let me erase it for you okay so i'm just erasing just remember those values better if you write those down for you guys uh, see this uh, your output voltage v0 is actually your drain voltage vd so this drain node right here is your v0 right so this is your positive and this would be your negative so i need to as this is my voltage amplification i need to find the voltage gain so if you recall this voltage gain right so i need to find a relation between v0 and vi nothing else just v0 and vi so how can i do that so let's uh, make things more simple let's try to do that how to make things more simple so let's let's let me take a different color so it will actually be easier for you guys to understand let me take a current and name it as input current i of i so i of i means input current okay so this is going so if you talk about kcl at this certain node look at my pointer so i i is incoming so downward goes gm vgs so there will be a current in this direction right so definitely a current in this direction and it will flow towards your rl prime right so this current right here let me talk about this current this current is actually if you, you can easily find it out what is this current would be it is actually very simple so it is actually see that this current is nothing but if you do the K, uh, kcl this current is nothing but uh, i i i i minus gm vgs right gm vgs i i minus gm vgs right so this current is i i minus gm vgs okay let me take a different uh, so this current i'm talking about this current right here so it's ii minus gmvgs okay let's move on and just erase this thing so to make room for our new calculations so so let's see so now so that current was i that current was ii ii minus gm there was some technical difficulty with my okay gm vgs okay ii minus gm vgs so so now so go back to the previous slide again so what's this ii value right here now let's talk about this one see that this node voltage is vi right and this node voltage is actually v0 or drain voltage right this one entirely this one so and there is a resistance between uh, gate and drain that is rg right here so ii can be written as this equation can be written ii can be written as so vi vi minus v0 divided by rg minus gm vgs so what was this equation again let me call that current which current this one this one uh, let me call this current as i0 or okay i0 let me call this current as i0 i0 current this one so this is my i0 current basically right this is my i0 okay i0 current so i0 current is something like this then okay fine so now we have uh, uh we have something here right here so now again what is your i0 see that this current i0 can actually be found this current actually flows through us rl prime 
so and you know the voltage that is v0 so i0 can again be written as something like this v0 divided by rl prime so now if you look at this equation right here vi minus v0 divided by rg minus gm now this vgs if i go back i'm talking about this vgs right vgs means this volt the voltage across this positive and negative which is actually this one and this one means vi your input voltage so vgs is actually your input voltage vi so now you write just vi now look at this equation very clearly it is interesting see that there uh, you have only v0 vi that means in input voltage output voltage and the constant values that means resistance resistance gm is a constant now so if you rearrange this equation i have actually done that if you rearrange this equation so what i'm trying to tell you you take all the v0 common and all the vi common and uh, divide v0 uh, divide uh, v0 by vi you'll get the gain right so theoretically you'll get the gain and if you do that you'll get a equation something like this let me show you what equation you'll be getting so let me uh, change the color back okay so what's the equation what is the equation you'll be getting so if you rearrange and v, uh, you put v0 by vi after taking all the common and do this that is technically meaning that is a gain right the voltage gain you can easily see that uh, it's the ratio of two voltage so the equation would be something like this let me write it in a different space minus gm rl prime into 1 minus 1 by gm into rg and below you'll be finding 1 plus rl prime divided by rg and if you do the calculations correctly you know all the values right here right so the answer would be 3 point minus 3.3 3. okay what's uh, now as you can easily understand it's the ratio voltage upon voltage so there wouldn't be any uh, unit okay there won't be any unit but we'll be giving a unit actually it is actually voltage volts per volt it shows uh, uh, and the answer is something like this gain is equals to minus 3.3 volts per volts it is meaning this this particular information is carrying that it's a voltage gain so that's that so you should also uh, give this one as unit volts per volt so this one right here so now Let's move on to the next topic that we'll be finding that is uh, that was said. So let me raise it for you so that you can easily see what was asked of me. So this little thing here, input resistance. Okay. So let me try to find the input resistance. So input resistance is actually very simple to uh, find out because uh, the input resistance would be very simple. So see that we have the input current, right? We have the input current named as II. So, and uh, the input voltage is uh, VI, right? So input resistance, I need to find the value of input resistance. So input resistance RI, say RIN is equal to so very easily, I can write that it's the ratio of input voltage by input current okay now previously i have found the equation for ii let's substitute that that was most probably if i'm not wrong this is vi minus v0 divided by rg and if i arranged this one if i arrange this one 
this becomes you can see that input there are there are all voltages now if i take common uh, common on as like vi from the below equation the equation actually reduced down to a very simple one rather so rg divided by 1 plus gm into rl prime and if you put all the values the answer is 2.33 mega ohms so these are the two things we were asked to find the voltage gain and the input resistance now uh, one interesting thing is that i want to show you guys let me raise all these things for you so if you recall correctly that we have found the output gain right voltage gain so the, the value was minus 3.3 volt so it's a negative value why so if you see you have if you have practiced or if you have understand the previous lecture see that this is that same uh, similar example of that one you are giving an input to the gate you are giving an input to the gate you are giving an input to the gate is the input to the gate and you are finding the output at the drain okay and your common point between input and output is your ground right common point ground and where is that common point see that your source is also ground so this specific circuit is known as common source amplifier because the common point is source that is ground so common source amplifier and we have found in our previous lecture that common source amplifier are supposed to have a, a 180 degree phase shift and that certain gain showing that minus negative minus or negative sign means 180 degree out of phase right so that complies with our answer so that's for today thank you i hope you'll be practicing this one uh, step by step if you don't understand anything you can text me you can write comments and ask me you can also ask me at elms thank you guys